very happy that they have created a platform mm. through which doctors can interact, exchange ideas and the newest of techniques which are existing across the world. So uh, each doctor gets enriched with something new. He carries back some new techniques which can further help him and his patients to uh, make a better living for uh, the patients who visit him. And what kind of support to the doctor community if they put so much effort to, you know, uplift the condition of the people or uh, help out the underprivileged people in the health condition? In fact, uh, we uh, we have appealed doctors to come forward to, uh, in hand in hand with the state government, to conduct more of uh, free medical camps, to conduct more of sessions which will help the underprivileged uh, to get these treatments which in generally uh, not so privileged do not get. So uh, it should be hand in hand effort by the government and the ENT surgeons and other uh, various doctors to come uh, together with the government and create this platform again for the uh, poor and underprivileged. And medical tourism also growing as the uh, cost of the treatment is very affordable so people from worldwide come to India to you know, get their treatment as such. So what kind of support do you think state government should give to the people, to the doctors community? I am aware that uh, the government has a very uh, vibrant plan for medical tourism and they want to see India in the world map, number one in the world map for uh, medical tourism. We all know that Indian treatments are uh, very much uh, within the range of the pockets of so many and uh, people abroad nowadays flock here for various treatments which are of the same level which are available anywhere else across the globe. So there is a connect that is only missing and through medical tourism and its uh, various policies, I think so this connect will uh, happen so that the patient who comes here gets referred and comes here. When he goes back, he always has a referee doctor who can later again treat him, post give him post-operative care and all. So there should be a very concise policy which should come up and which, which can benefit India tourism, medical tourism, and also the patients overall. Okay, because under one roof, they manage to get doctors from all over India, and they share their experiences, and each of them is constantly trying to update their knowledge, the techniques which are happening world. So I think uh, this, besides it being a very good social gathering for them to meet up and know each other, it's a great platform for them to exchange ideas and educate themselves further. I know there's a lot of uh, little conversations which go on, they are doing uh, more of education and sharing of knowledge. So that is happening uh, side by side. And uh, I think ENT is it's handling so many organs of our body. And I think it's a very important part of medicine. And uh, very important senses are connected with that. So uh, it was a great pleasure to be uh, top doctor here. So what do you think? If doctors are given a chance, a platform, a support by the I think doctors do their best, but when they are supported by man, by by people who come us support, I think we can rise above. The second in medical tourism, I think you can reach. And it's not that doctors that low or something, but doctors are good out here, and we want to give the best in medical tourism. And actually, ENT is a neglected branch because anything goes in the ear or the nose, nobody. Anything goes in the eye and you go and reach a doctor. So we want to get that ENT at number one because people after MBBS go into cardiology, go into, I think ENT with endoscopic pituitaries and all that stuff is going up and up and above. I think we have, we have, I think we're going to see beyond the horizon. And that's where ENT is going to come up. And uh, Madam, in your hearing loss, I really want to pressurize that all the teenagers Using headphones, I would really tell them to use more than half an hour. As we said, the sensory neural hearing loss coming more. I think they have to be curbed, to be controlled. The the decibel sounds which have to be be in the streets, be in the music, be anywhere else have to be controlled. And I think state government is doing a lot of, and and we are happy for it. We that madam is supporting coming for these conferences and getting. Thank you. Uh, being uh, so abrupt in uh, and what is the future plan for that? First of all, I would like to thank mm -hmm. Madam.
Amrutha Padnavis ji and my CM sir and my president Ashish Shela ji mm. to giving me such a good opportunity to be in this position and to do something for Maharashtra and India. I am very fortunate to work under this program of medical tourism which we have come up. Uh, program is named as 360 degree of medical tourism and 360 degree means top to bottom A to Z about medical tourism. When people go anywhere in the world to the doctor, they will refer us in India and connecting doctor will do the procedure in India in Mumbai and through that Mumbai will get the business and Maharashtra will be promoted as the first number of medical tourism state. That's what uh, we, are, we are hoping for. That's what we wanted. We need all the supports from the higher authorities. And my CM Saab and Ashish ji is supporting me with the help of Advocate Amit Mehta ji, who's sitting next to me. He's very been supportive to me, and I'm thankful to him. Legal issues facing by the medical, medical fraternity uh, when it comes to, you know, Comes to yeah, I'll be very short and precise. Actually, there have been cases pertaining to uh, medical issues, and most of the issues are concerning to either negligence of the patients or insurance policies. Okay. So, medi claim policy, insurance policy, hospitals. There has to be a very integrated policy uh, whereby you know all of this, uh, come together, and then a policy is framed. I think that, that's all. Then the legal issues may be set up. Thank you. Lady of Maharashtra, we spend so much time at this event, which shows that the public and private partnership is possible. You saw a lot of physicians who are very interested in making a difference in their lives. I think what we really need to do, what the world does not know about, is how strong Indian culture and Indian medicine, ancient medicine, has been so, so successful. But we in the Western world who have been living there have no idea about it. And the reason being, we don't have the data. We don't have the information. Wouldn't it be nice if we create a facility, which is a holistic approach to healthcare that cares for body, mind, and soul, which India has so beautifully have put together. Look at yoga. We practice in Emily Anderson in the Houston Medical Center, yoga for cancer patients. How about bringing those patients here and having them to learn some of these things, the willpower, Cancer can be controlled if you have proper diet, proper herbal remedies, and proper care of the mind.